Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Gen Z podcast, featuring people such as myself, Adrian, Lauren. What's up? My boy, Joe. Everyone, I'm a guest here, right? Yeah. Yeah, we yep. got I a guest on the podcast. I'm the guest. Yep. And Logan. Hola. And Como Justin. Estás? And Justin and Kate that aren't here. Yeah, uh, we waited like 30 minutes for them, but we're not. We can't wait any longer. Uh, basically, uh, it seems they weren't able to make it. Yeah, basically. So how it goes is our guest Joe. He lives. Uh, he used to live near us, but now he moved to Virginia, and he lives like three. Is it like three hours ahead of us for you? Yeah. Yeah. So, three hours ahead. So yeah, right so, now it is currently half past eight, but for you guys it's half past five. Yeah, so we couldn't keep him waiting much longer because it was getting pretty late for him. Um, yeah, so that's sure. kind of why we were waiting. I found it kind of funny that Joe has actually showed up on the podcast equal amount of times as Justin. I didn't mean to say his last name, but that's okay. We'll censor it. Okay. It's all right. Just giving me more work. Yep. However, <laughs> however, Time actually, <laughs> I've technically been on the podcast longer than Justin because he left within the first two minutes of the first episode, right? Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, because the zero episode doesn't true. count. Frick. Said more things on the podcast than yeah, he has. He's, he's been on here a solid minute and 40 Joe has literally been on this podcast longer <laughs> Dude, than Justin. And he's I've got some guest. experience on it, bro, bro. Yeah, you know it. You might need to wow, replace. What a crazy thought. You know, I really wanted to say, I wanted, I really wanted to be like, the, the whole fucking gang is here, boy. The gang's all but, here. Uh, okay. Guess I'm not gonna be saying it. <laughs> Unfortunately, not. Uh, speaking hey, of the boys, the boys we're, we're missing a few one of the, of the boys. Mister, well, Mister L Smith, Mister Logan, right here. Yes, sir. He's been kind of silent. All right. I, I mean, made him move into his house because there was a massive vacuum consuming yep. the neighborhood. <laughs> Actually, I was forced painfully to go inside and stop working <laughs> on my projects that I am currently working on. Yep. Logan's yeah. productivity. I'm sorry, man. Sometimes you got to sacrifice for the podcast. Really? Yeah, you have to make great sacrifices for the podcast, yeah. dude. I had That's... to amputate my leg like 20 minutes ago just to get on here. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. And like, oh my god, you had to move in your uh, Logan room, Logan had dude? to move like, in his room. Do you want to just empty his room? I don't think you understand yeah. how much I lost by going into my room. Something that you can't just pick up later. Right. An he, hour. He of is being paid. Experience. He is being paid for knives. Yeah, like, he hasn't been paid for the Gen's that, podcast. That is true. So but then again, we literally wouldn't have been able to record the podcast because it was just it was yeah. pretty bad. <laughs> Whenever you talked, um, yeah, I guess it was like a massive that's definitely. Logan, is that, is that I your understand. primary occupation, or do you have like a side job? This is my primary occupation. Ooh, I think you make as much as like people who have like a minimum wage job, like like weekly. Like, how much do you make? Not as much. We'll put it like that, because there's no yeah. spe- specified amount. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I sometimes in one week I make over five hundred, so I don't know. How much money do you think you made to date knife making? Uh, it's the same as when we last talked about it. It was about five hundred, but I have nice. just about another five hundred on the horizon as I keep working on work. So, good shit, mm-hmm. dude. Yeah, all it takes is those first few reviews to come in on Etsy, and then people are gonna start flocking. It's like, yep. it's pretty crazy. The bladesmith grind, you know how it is. And it's like, (laughs) you may think, you know, like, how am I supposed to make it in the knife business? You know, there's so many, like, big companies that, you know, make knives and factories and stuff. But, like, it's pretty rare to find, like, a local, like, high-quality, you know, like, business bladesmith bladesmith person that that does, like, high-quality work, you know? I imagine, like, a lot of people, like, value that kind of thing, you know? So, I mean, like, you'd probably be surprised with, like, how much business you really get. He's doing God's work. I'm appreciative of Logan Smith. So, Joe, you are our, our guest on the podcast, so we should gear, gear things more to you. Just kind of, you know, find out more about who you are. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend, him, Joe himself. So, um, yeah, basically, this kid has been friends with us for quite some time. I met him back in middle school, and recently he did end up moving out of state, unfortunately. But we all still keep in touch with him. <laughs> 
relatively frequently. Although I know half the time, Joe, I'm sorry, you fucking text me. I'm like, sorry, I'm busy. Text I mean, me two seconds or another day. Sorry, I'm busy. I'm like, I, but because I literally am. It's like, a busy year. Like, I'm always fucking Like, busy. I can yeah. barely even, like, play yeah. Xbox anymore because I have, like, homework and I have stuff going on. You know, I take the SAT oh. on Saturday, fun fact. Damn. Oh, Wait, you're fuck, taking it on Saturday? Year. We're all, me and Lauren are taking it on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's. I don't think I'm gonna do well. I haven't studied much, but I mean, I'm gonna take it a second time. So, oh, can, you know. oh, for sure, that helps. Oh, dude, I don't even want to think about that right now. It just stresses Christ. me out. Oh man, yeah, the fucking SAT. It's like, you, you know, I um, I don't necessarily feel like, I don't feel like like I'm gonna do terrible on it. I mean, I didn't do too bad on the uh, practice one, but it's just like. Just, you know, it kind of makes you feel nervous when you think about, like, oh, how, like, adults and shit, they always, like, hype up how important it is, and it's, like, really... Yeah, I can understand that for sure. It's, like, it's literally, like, a test, and, like, it's one of, like, the key factors in terms of, like, getting admitted Mm -hmm. to a college. It's one of the main things that you need to have a good score on. Definitely. Mm-hmm. 100%. Basically, it's the SAT, GPA, and then, like, other minor stuff like you know like clubs and stuff right (laughs) and then also like well the probably another one of the biggest things is do you actually have enough money to pay are you going to be taking on fucking years and years of college Uh, debt that's another thing that is a big thing you know cost is always a factor yeah you well uh as for a topic on the gen z podcast I'm thinking. I'm thinking. We talk about the new Sonic trailer. How about that? Yeah. If you want, oh god, if that, that is that is a good, oh, uh, very god. stimulating topic. I wouldn't say stimulating in a good way per se, but you know, yes, it, it does quite. You know, it just very kind of really does. It, it stimulates Sonic. your inner emotions. You know, whether they be whether they may be good or bad. You know, they, yeah. it, it really does. You know, Logan, have you seen? I it? have, and I'm disappointed. Yeah, for any of those who have not seen it, uh, <laughs> Sonic with a normal dude voice and Nike shoes, and he has human teeth. Uh, he has human teeth. He has very he human looking weird. eyes. He just looks like yeah. Uncanny. As a he's matter of fact, like a, he's also in a world of of like humans. He's like in a regular human society, which isn't yeah. really. Wait, isn't Eggman? Um, yep. like Jim Carrey and. <laughs> At first, in most of the trailer, he doesn't even look like Eggman. He he's probably gonna be the best part of the movie, but Jesus, he's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's just. I'm sure a bunch of kids will like it. It's not gonna be the type of movie you'd be like, wow, that was a profound. Cinematic. It's just gonna say, be confusing. I heard someone say that Eggman only looks like Eggman in the final act of the movie, like not yeah. the, the the first three fourths but of it. He, he just, just looks like obese? Jim Carrey. It was the same thing for the final act of the trailer. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're right. What does Eggman just like become obese? I guess he becomes movie? Eggman because of Sonic, maybe. Oh, dude, I'm what already excited for the, for the Sonic the movie around? sequel, dude. I am so hyped for dude, that. Dude, I'm just ready, for, dude. Nine days, dog, Detective Pikachu, baby. Oh yeah, I'm actually excited dude, they, for that. Gonna, I know that actually seems something that's cool. Like, Sonic, art, no. fucking. I don't think yeah. a Detective Pikachu is quite gonna be the same experience of like pokemon games but i think it's For gonna sure. be like a cool a cool little nod you know to watch you know it's not it's not gonna feel like real pokemon but it's gonna be like this cool different kind of universe you know yeah it's definitely kind of acquired taste ish but yeah yeah i what i feel like is i, I wouldn't be surprised if they just connected the two fucking detective <laughs> pikachu you got sonic everything's a cinematic yeah universe we were just now. talking it about the arcade characters dude why not universe. Yeah, we were talking that, about what that. What was that one movie? <laughs> I forget what it was called. But it was <laughs> like it, it, was like, it came out the, the, the movie that came out recently that was all about like video games and it was basically just fan service and it was like this digital Ready program, Player like, One. Uh, yes, that movie. Dude, that that's gonna be like the same universe as like Detective Pikachu. And yeah, stuff. and then Pixels <laughs> too. The goddamn Adam <laughs> movie. Oh my god, oh, yeah, no. Dude, everyone loved Wreck that movie. Dude. Give it a give big <laughs> gang bang. Pixels? What is Pixels Two actually? Yeah, dude, it was the Pac Man movie. <laughs> you don't remember that? No, no, no he said there. Pixels Two. Oh, Pixels, Pixels Two. Oh, I thought you that talking doesn't about exist. Movie. Pixels Two. There's no it, Pixels Two. I don't know where you get that from. It had Pac Man in it. Yeah, we're talking about just Pixels, not not the second one. Pixels. 
it, but yeah, no, it had, right? I thought yeah, it was, yeah, it's the one with Pac-Man, Galaga, it's and got all Pac-Man, those. It's Pac-Man, yeah, and it's got Adam Oh, and shit, yeah, I remember that movie. It's the yeah. movie where they all have to, like, play against arcade characters in real life. Like, I remember, yeah. like, Snake. Oh, I remember this movie. I don't know why I Fuck, dude, myself. That, that movie completely Pac-Man slipped movie. my memory. Like, it's just one of those movies I watched and then just, like... Just completely forgot about its existence oh, yeah. afterwards. <laughs> it actually was. wasn't. Was it? I remember it being kind of funny. Like it wasn't terrible, was it? Uh, I, I watched like, my little brother Barbo from what I remember. His favorite movie. Comedy, the humor in it was really just uh, the poor quality of it. That was the humor. Oh shit! Twenty-seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Oh god, I barely. I I'm having a hard time really remembering like details about this movie. It just kind of slipped my mind um i just remember like the, fucking I, I don't know dude i remember like that wasn't the very end they had to defeat donkey kong or something yeah the, the final boss was donkey kong i think like I the final boss in the end of the movie yeah yeah there's like, like a whole, whole list of girls. movies that like, yeah i, I don't know if i want to continue talking about my pixels. mind like i bet there's a whole list of them that i just i, I wouldn't be able to remember this is yeah, not interesting like recent ones too. at all <laughs> not interesting <laughs> cutting it out of the podcast pixels. I, more editing for you, Lauren. Yeah, no introspection <laughs> about garbage schlock movies. It's a lot, Adrian. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry I brought it up. Joe, do you want to uh, talk about the story of when we like first met each other? Um, Is that an interesting yeah, topic Yeah, it was the on the podcast? bus, right? Yeah, it was. It do was you remember? On the bus. I think I was sitting, like, you know, like, it, this was sixth grade, right? Yeah. I was sitting on the bus. I was, like, staring out the window, like, probably listening to the, some like dubstep or something Wait, actually can I, now that can I think I about it you for a sec joe how how many years ago was sixth grade because like fuck i, um, I, I feel see. like it was such a long time ago it's like five years ago right five, got we're, in ele- we're in 11th grade now so 11th grade 10th 9th yeah. 7 6 um yeah five five years ago or so maybe like five and a half years i don't know yeah um, so shit <laughs> Fuck, but yeah, no, I, I was, I was just sitting on the bus, like listening to some music, I think, or something. And you just came and sat next to me and started talking to me. And I thought you were like the weirdest kid ever. You had like this squeaky <laughs> voice and you were like, you know, you were, you were wearing these basketball shorts and, and, and you were like you talking were to me. You were basketball shorts too, Bro. I'm sure. No, I don't Dude. think I was. I, 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 I remember. I, a, a I had person. such a squeaky voice. I remember in middle school, one of the first interactions we had. For some reason we started becoming oh friends. Bad. Oh, yeah, it all turned out great. Look, 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 look at us now. Yeah, yeah look, look where we're at. I just I remember forget, like, when, like, when and where we first started hanging out. We hung out at lunch at like that one spot, right? Like, didn't like, didn't like, I, like invite middle. you to like the spot with like me and Justin and Adrian and uh, yeah. Junior, well, now Juan, but then Junior mm-hmm. and like that squad. Yeah. So it's weird because wait, did I bring you over to that group? Is that what happened? Oh no, I brought you to that group because yeah. I. Me, Adrian, mm. Justin, and Cristiano and Juan had all been hanging out in elementary school before we got to middle school. So really? Well, I don't think we hung yeah. out that no, much in elementary school. I, the first you time really I met, the, time. The, the first time I met that group of friends was because of uh, having Justin. I, I was friends with Justin because we met in English class and we sat next to each other in Miss Hackett's. And um, he showed me around to the group i talked about this last episode but you weren't there i remember seeing like michael and cristiano and like a few other kids but you weren't there joe maybe maybe, just, maybe like... i like didn't join till later because i think i remember hanging out with you guys in elementary school but i do yeah. kind of remember like a, a bit of a rift in between elementary school and middle school like i started hanging out with, with that group in middle school again but like i think it was because like i start i was hanging out with other people in the beginning of fifth grade maybe for Something sure like you that. weren't always know. there but i mean you were like semi members <laughs> Like yeah, like I remember. Part. I remember like playing tag with you guys in elementary school, like in fifth yeah, grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. I remember the first interaction, or one of the first interactions with you, Lauren, was like I think what you had like a slim jim or something, and you were like running oh up to gosh, people making like that dinosaur was, noises. That wasn't the first interaction, dude. That was like that was. That wasn't like, one of the no. One of the first that I remember still is what I was, that was saying. When we were still hanging out, like we were like we were tight then. At that point, Lauren really was being Lauren, yeah. That was that was like a month in or something then. <laughs> Probably it, it was early. It was dude, definitely no. Early, but you want to know the funnier first. thing about it is that you literally went up to like Mister Thomas, which is somebody that taught us at the time. <laughs> dude, I would <laughs> never forget that memory. He had a slim jib extending Dude, from his crotch and he was running around <laughs> screaming like at the top of his lungs like he sounded like a five-year-old 
who was like in the middle of a grocery store, like without her mom. Oh my god! Look who decided to show up. Would you look at that? Sorry, I was Man, doing a uh, exclusive uh, interview with Don Cheadle. Look at that, it's Kate. <laughs> you guys know Don Cheadle? Yes, I know who Don Cheadle is. Freaking war machine. Is that Joseph? Yeah, yes. you. Dude, Don Cheadle's the fucking man. He's Dude, he's you're like, gonna have uh, to censor out all this stuff. He's, like he's, the, he's, he's the Black Iron Man. He's like the one actor that, like, I feel like no one remembers who he is, even though he's like plays such a big role. So no, that's Falcon, from from freaking what you call it. That's him. Dude, what are you talking about, dude? Falcon's Will Smith. Everyone knows that. No, I know. Okay, <laughs> yeah, <I can't. laughs> yeah. That's the thing, though. It's like Falcon, like, has no role for the most part. At least War Machine kind of does. He's basically he's basically just like a replacement for Bucky. He's like he's like Captain America's emotional support when he's like missing Bucky. He's like just there. That's really all he is. Like, the only, like, really arc he has is just, like, the only thing about him that's relevant is just that he's friends with Captain America. Like, yeah, he, he's just there for diversity's sake, essentially. Yeah, like, why remember, does Falcon remember even the beginning exist? Of, remember like... the beginning of, like, uh, I think it was, I think it was the beginning of when Captain America. When did Falcon America. even appear? Yeah. I can't even yeah, remember. Yeah, I don't, the beginning like, why of, does he exist? Uh, Witcher Soldier. But, yeah, like, yep. He was, like, in the beginning of the movie, and he's, like, using all his, like, technology, and it was, like, the first movie that really, like, you know, like, showed him. And everyone was just, like, what is he doing, like... What yeah, what is this Avenger? Nobody <laughs> cares. For real. Yeah, he was kind of just he's always just kind of been irrelevant, poor guy. Yeah. But yeah, no, back to that uh back to that memory you were talking about, Adrian, about Lauren. Well, let's hear the let's hear the finishing the finishing. Oh yeah, so that. essentially he was he's you know, freaking wiggling his slim jim around and <laughs> that was everybody when he was running to them. And then he ended up bumping into our boy Mr. Thomas, which was <laughs> at the time Thomas. our teacher. Yeah, and then he gave and him he a little talk. He was like, he was like, you yeah. know, Lauren, if this girl, if this school was all boys, maybe that would be acceptable. But you see, there are girls at this school, Lauren, and it was just. I remember, like, like I was like I maybe like that. 20, 20 feet away, and I like heard the entire conversation, and Lauren was just like, he was just taking it all in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was having it. Okay, I don't know what was wrong with me in middle school. I had no fucking self control. I, I miss was you. Such a spaz, dude. I just screamed and ran around and fucking. Oh, I don't miss that. I miss I, honestly, I, I miss middle school Lauren, dude. Zero I miss like middle when you go Lauren super is absolute target sometimes. Yeah, zero, you're ballistic. Just absolute zero fucking self awareness or something. Like we when should do that out, together. When he, out, when he lets out the shriek and then throws the, the cranberry ocean spray bottle on the ground and makes an explosion. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm glad we're past that now. The ocean spray stain is still there, dude. The stain on the concrete. Dude, if only we went back, that'd be rad. Oh hello, Lauren, old you should tell you should tell our audience the story of the ocean spray. I think that'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> you think I don't know? There's not really too much to it. It's just like Lauren being as fast to this. It was literally just me, fucking. It was me and Justin. We would just throw drinks on the ground as hard as we fucking could. More specifically, at cranberry juice. Yeah, Honestly, we're now that I think about it. We weren't even that different in eighth grade when you guys would throw apples at the tree. Yeah, <laughs> um, dude, we were Emma's. Arch nemesis. <laughs> that was... Yeah. Uh, I, I keep saying everybody's me. last name for some reason. I'm just exposing what classic, everybody. What a classic figure. Just Emma's... Like, let me just like finna go and just say everyone's last names, their address, their license Oh, you cut out, man. Social security number, you know. Oh, that's for you, sir. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know what? Kate's... That is not getting censored on the podcast when I just said. What? Because I... you Stop. came in late. You deserve Stop. it. Stop. What did I say? I... You're making me up because you came in late. More. What did I say? You you know you didn't say anything. You came in late. I'm exposing your name, kids. <gasps> oh, I already have my name exposed. I'm a fucking prodigy in football, dude. I'm a football prospect. Damn. Damn. What do you say? You're flexing on us with this work knowledge. Damn. You say Damn. I didn't hear it. I literally Wait. did not hear what Kate just said. Oh, you didn't hear anything that Kate said? Fuck Kate's you guys! Kate's silent. Everything he says, I can't hear. I don't Kate know just why. said, oh, fuck left. you guys, he and then he left. He just did a fucking Justin. Okay. Oh my god, he dude, he literally did. <laughs> wow, boys, what a great podcast. He just yep. did what Justin did. I know, right? Did. This is this the is best great. podcast in existence. You want to go back to your knife-making, Logan? Pff, dude. I, 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 hey, I'm still knife-making right now. What do you think I'm doing? <gasps> Are you sanding? Logan always finds a way. 
N no, I'm, I'm still working on sheets. I'm just do doing something do that. Oh, there he is. different. Oh, Joe, you want to say that worried again? Worried there. You were gonna. Leave. No. <laughs> That's what I thought. Cade, uh, Cade. do you know what ha where Justin is? <laughs> Okay. Nah, probably He's not. He is at my house. I don't know why, oh. but I can't hear Cade. I I'm pretty sure I don't have a mute. Hey, guys, what's up? Oh my god. I can hear Cade quite well, so I'm not sure why you can't hear Cade. <laughs> Yo, dude, that's Justin, bro. How you doing, man? Hey, you know what I'm <laughs> that's, that's not me. That's like a goddamn caveman. You see, you see what I mean? Wait, it, it, it's just is Justin well. actually at your house, kid? What's? It's Justin. No. no, he's not actually. That sounds no, wait, absolutely no, nothing like Justin. Oh my god, the movie theater! God, <laughs> Next time Justin appears on the podcast, he needs to stalk like this just to keep it consistent. <laughs> okay, wait, Joe, maybe guys, Joe, I'm try, Justin. Hey, try restarting not, your. Wait, enough. are you on the laptop right now? Or, like, on the phone? Can you hear Cade or no? Yeah, no, you need to quit. I can hear Discord. everyone else except Cade. What the heck? That isn't like. That did you block him? Like a... I did, but no, I blocked him. Not blocked. Oh, Cade, Cade blocked I'm you. Sorry, man. I, I heard it. Did he actually? <laughs> I don't think he actually did. He's laughing. I'm fucked. Yeah. Oh. I heard when he, when he first came in, I heard him. But then, like ever since he left and joined back, I couldn't hear him. Oh, that's yeah. Weird. So, Cade, do you, how did you meet Joe? Did you just meet him when he got to the school? <laughs> I met Cade. I'm in biology. Oh, he's in my biology yeah, class. Oh, he's in your biology class. Mm -hmm. That's pretty up. So about it. Oh. oh, there you go. Yeah, I sounded Cade, like Cade black. Was in my biology class actually. Yeah, that's how you met. Well, I don't know, Joe. I think as of right now, for the podcast sake, we might need to pause it and like uh, fix your problem that's going on right now. I could leave and join back. Let me try. Yeah, that. we're gonna do yeah, that, guys. that. We're gonna be right, pausing the podcast for a little bit. I'll see you guys in a moment. All right, and we are Man. back now. Joe can hear Cade. How nice. Yeah, yeah. We back at it. It was a simple fix. I have no idea what's going on, but it's it's all good, boys. What were we talking about, like, just a second ago? Oh, about how you met. I'll be yeah. right back. Oh, bye-bye. Okay. Well, Kate said he met okay. you in biology right. class. Is that what happened, Joe? I think so, yeah. I am i don't... Because, was he here in 8th grade? Or am I thinking of someone else? Uh, I can't Cade, grade. When did Cade come to the school? Was it 8th grade or was it ninth grade? I think it was ninth. I do yeah. remember having biology with him. I did. No, have it was it was freshman year. He was not here in eighth grade. I it remember. was biology that I met him. No, I think about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Freaking freshman biology with Mr. Christensen. There were so many people in that class. Dude. Off the oh walls. my god. It was Marcus. full of like it. It was full of sophomores that that didn't take biology, so they were all like, they all you know they, they none of them really tried. Yeah. yeah They're all kind of deadbeats. They all just yeah, kind of goofed sure. off. And I'm not saying Cade was one of them, but he definitely befriended them. And it was just a whole class of just mischief. I mean, yeah, that definitely sounds a lot more fun than it does sound educational. Dude, with Mr. Christensen, it was a blast. I loved Mr. Christensen. Really? I don't know. Mr. Christensen's kind of boring. Dude, he was like, no, the funny part about it is he's like the most tolerant teacher on earth. So yeah, I guess all so. The mischief. And he was just taking it. He he didn't even <laughs> like. Basically, he would just he would just play along with what anyone said. Give me basically. an example. I want to know like the yeah. Just in case. I, I don't know if I can recall any. Specific no, examples. Mr. Christensen was just very kind of like. He he Way was a back. very professional teacher. Like he was just very tidy and like sort of just did his job. He didn't like. He he wasn't super spastic like X or anything. He was very yeah, just like kind not. of No, but another thing to that class, there was also this kid with anger issues. His name was Tyler and he was Oh my gosh. Oh, Tyler. Tyler. Is, about... is Tyler yeah. the kid that's always like kind of glaring and hunched in... sort of? Yes, he glares at everyone oh, and yeah. him. No, no, oh he's gosh. in my ceramics so class. So I know Tyler were... so much. Oh my god. Yes, How yes. does Tyler do right. ceramics, Logan? You know what I was saying earlier about yeah, all these kids? Yeah, he does. Just, you and know, he comes all, up to me with like... Language. They're all they're all goofing off. All of them would try and mess with Tyler. They would make him angry every single oh, day. Oh, that's what they do in other classes. They would just mess with him. And so he would just get super angry and riled up every day. And it was just... It was absolute chaos that class. Poor Tyler, oh, getting bullied. 
you know. Oh, he wasn't yeah. like bullied. They were just like people uh, always. Christians they were trying him. to set him off though. Like, yeah. Like literally, there'd be times where Christians who would like he would tell them he'd like stop talking to Tyler, stop making Tyler mad. Like he, let's, yeah. he would just be blunt with it. And like, that's he, Christians he, he, too. Yeah. People are always like, taking advantage of the. I mean, it's just the nature of school. If you see someone gets easily offended, you're just gonna offend them for fun. I'm gonna shoot this place. I'm gonna shoot this place. Hey, stop getting in Tyler's head, dog. Get out of here. Stop <laughs> being offensive. You know it. Oh yeah, dude. That that reminds me. Computer side. They're not computer side. Graphics are Yeah, I met Joe because we were both tormenting Tyler. And t Joe was like, hey, fucking loser, what the fuck are you doing? I was like, oh my God, you're one, Joe. Joe. Joe, like, Joe man. I'm glad you're gone now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember this one time Tyler was walking by, and Joe just like, he just kicked him in the shit and pushed him over, and then just started smearing dirt in his eyes. Remember yeah. when you took his book bag and you fucking slammed him to the ground? Oh my god, remember when you brought oh, hairspray to school and you sprayed it in his eyes? Dude, I love when he, you know what, Joe was kind of cool when he had the John Cena out. Like, he Batista bombed like Tyler. Uh, or would you put water in his gas tank? Just yeah, a disclaimer, <laughs> Joe has done none of these things. Untrue. Oh, yeah. Gosh, dude. I, Joe, I made your rep- after you left the school, I made your reputation really bad. Yeah. yeah. No. Cakes are Location talking about bad. how you, you like- You betrayal. You know. Yeah, you know, he talked about like, all the Tyler Chronicles. Just pull a John Dressler on this. Yeah, dude. You didn't tell me about the time where I, like, tied- I tied John to a pole and left him at the school overnight, right? What? <laughs> John- Dude. And he you was, and John he was, like, hated he, each other so much in, uh, near the end of friend, like, We were friends, year. and then for some reason he uh, decided to hate my guts out of nowhere. And so I was like, alright then. Oh, how sad. It was, really, oh. it was really funny because poor Justin was like caught in the middle. Because cause, oh. like, John was like, still trying to be friends with Justin, but like Justin's friends with me. And Justin's just like, gosh, this is, what this the is heck? chaos. I don't know why John did that. That's kind of no, You guys are, keep saying John's last name like millions of times. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, well, we have to preface him somehow. We have to specify let's... which John it is. It's not like yeah. our audience oh. is going to be able to identify. Oh. Oh. Well, no, they will. Ass. They'll look him up oh. in the phone book. They could do whatever and harass him. Who, John? You know, Lord, yeah. while you're at it, why don't you why don't you send a picture of his face to pop up on the screen right now, just so, just so they can have a full yeah, yeah we'll just, just do an ID and all, please, if you can. And I'll get his social security and uh, yeah. last yeah and he yeah, posted yeah, digits on the back. Digits of his, um, I actually have John Dressler's birth honestly. certificate. If you guys want it, do you? Please, yes, send you I can send it. I can send it in the the chat nice. right now. Nice, Don Cheadle. It's Don right Cheadle. <laughs> Goddamn Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, man. Inserted oh, Don Cheadle. Hey, yeah, send can, Don we, Cheadle can we get an amen for our Lord and Savior, Don Cheadle? Amen. Don Jonathan. Cheadle. I love Don you. Cheadle. Amen. Everyone calls him Don Cheadle. John Cheadle. Don I'm Cheadle. surprised they haven't called him Don Cheeto, yeah. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. <laughs> My name is I forgot Don the Cheeto, wife again. I like to eat Fritos. I know I'm Cheeto, but I swear to yes, Cheeto. But I He's swear I'm a Negro. Try censoring that, Gen Z. Yeah, we can't, because that is not a swear word. That's a yeah, perfectly Yeah, Negro's fine. Gook, Negro, right we'll get them all. Are there all. any other famous movies Whoa. that jumped out? I haven't said Gook in a while, bro. Whoa, I love that's that. a little, because that's not, that's not okay, my man. That's a little offensive. Like, well, Denzel Curry, enough to censor, you're making so fun we're okay. of Denzel Curry when you say gook. Yeah, he's, no. He's a gook. Yes, I he... would never. <laughs> I'm a I am the one, the one you don't need a gun to give respect up on the streets. Hey. Oh, fuck, fuck. That's the only reason you can't yeah. die. Okay, Bro, Denzel Curry's fire. Let, let's get a, a uh, I don't know, an F for respect. Of, I'm the best guys, mic in the cam. What do you say we insult Cade's mic quality until he leaves? Chat, let's get a DC for Denzel Curry. And not oh my gosh. Here we go, here we go. Keep doing that. For Don Cheadle. <laughs> oh, Denzel, Denzel Don Curry. Cheadle. Oh my god. That's smart. Dude, dude. He's direct we current. Get a DC in the chat for Don Cheadle and Denzel Curry united. Oh my god, one. both. That's oh what it's going to be. This is the DC podcast. That's going to be the title. Don Cheadle slash Denzel Curry. Yeah, I got it. It's the two most the two most influential people of our time period. Exactly. Is that how you spell his name? Wait, how do you spell his name? Don Chee like the last one. Oh, I got it. C H E A D L E, I think. Oh uh, yeah, Wait, I Don thought it was a D. Slash Denzel. I got it. I'm doing it first. No. <laughs> Fuck. I got it. No. Oh, I accidentally clicked off of it, so I left it at Denzel's gold. <laughs> 
Denzel Remy Curry. Copper. Okay, Copper. okay. Can, Do you guys Adrian think that Denzel Curry likes the Indian title food? Of the, the Discord server. Denzel, see you. My bad. I, Do I you think it that Denzel Curry likes Indian food? Mm, I, I, yeah. My last name is Curry. I mean, like, I know. I, yeah. Like, come on, man. I Am I the only one? Okay, agree. you guys ready for an unpopular opinion? I, I think no. that the picture opinion? on that Dude. one album or whatever of Denzel Curry where he's like a clown, mm. I think that looks really cringeworthy. I don't Wait, know why. Wait, what? Where he looks like what? Where he's like a clown and he has he's like. So oh, you're talking about Act Two, a taboo. What's so yeah. bad about that? I don't know. It just looks. It just makes me cringe. I don't know. Why. I don't know. It's just an image. People, like, you know. I'm the, it just makes me think of like gamers rise up, like the Joker. <laughs> Things <laughs> like, what, like Heath Ledger joke, see. gamer <laughs> click sort of thing. I don't know. It's like. Eh, are, you guys talking about, uh, are you guys talking about TA thirteen O O? Oh yeah, dude. That's like one of the best albums of last dude, year. Dude, I love fired. TA thirteen O O. Oh my god. I know. For those of you listening that might not be Gen Zers, we... <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> oh, yeah, we refer this? to our fan base as Gen Zers from now on. Yeah. I just kind of said it. We're rolling with it. <laughs> our fellow, our fellow Wait, what Gen else am I supposed Z's. to say? Gen Zians? Doesn't work. Gen Zians? I think it's Gen Zs. Gen Zs, right? Gen Zs. For a Gen Canadian Zs. audience. That's, that's, the, that's for our Canadian and British yeah. audience, indeed. Yeah, yeah. We're international out here, okay? We don't appeal to one. Joe, can we know. talk about that time? Uh, it was it was a few birthday parties of mine ago, uh, but it was a, it was a you year or two back. Do you remember the fucking my sleepover where you just locked yourself in my room because we were tormenting <laughs> you so much? Tormenting? Oh yeah. Wait, what? I locked myself in your room? Yes, to go to sleep. <laughs> You locked oh, yourself. I remember that. No, it was because I don't know if I I don't remember if I locked. Oh yeah, I actually did the lock. You the did. You that. locked like, yourself in my room. It was room. like seventh or eighth grade, but I remember like you and like Danny. I think were watching like anime or no, we didn't know Danny. And, yeah, we did. Yeah, you and Danny were watching like anime or something. You're watching like Studio Ghibli movies or something. Not. It wasn't even Studio. Was it Studio Ghibli? No, I don't remember. This was this was me turning. Was it? It was either me turning fourteen or me turning fifteen. I'm, they I party. Remember. Yeah. It was a party at my house where we went to the lake yeah. first. Yeah. Do you remember that? I think I like locked myself in your room because I was I wanted to go to sleep and you and you guys refused to leave me alone. So I went in your room and locked the door and I was like, I right, I'm about yeah. to head out. We would go <laughs> up to Joe and just start trying to draw on his face and shit, just tormenting him so well, Yeah, awful. that's why it's because it's because if I actually friends. Was, it's, it's cause it was because you know, if I actually like went dicks. to sleep. If, it, if I actually went to sleep, you guys would have tormented me and drawn on my face. Yeah, <laughs> stuff you know like what? That. I'm not mad at you for locking yourself in my room because you literally had to. You had no other I choice. I barely even remember that, honestly. Like, I feel like your memory of this is a lot better than mine. Well, yeah, because you were like half I was, I was just a buddy trying to go to sleep at that yeah, point. Yeah, I think, uh, were you still awake um, when we made the concoction, the birthday <laughs> concoction? Or were you asleep? Dude, I, I live streamed that. I remember. Oh yeah. Okay, so pretty much um this was Danny's idea. Um basically my friend Danny, he he had done this thing with some of his other friends on their birthdays and it's sort of like, drinking? This random tradition he made. No, not it's not just drinking alcohol, Kate. Okay? It's a little bit it's even more fucked up than that. Pretty much it's just it's more fun. It's literally more fun no. It it might actually, actually be legal. more dangerous. Yeah. It's Coke? actually like probably more dangerous for you. In some but ways. it's legal because it's just a bunch of like gross ingredients. It's not yeah. actually like anything illegal. It's actually gross, like yeah. wor- it's actually like even worse than drinking because like it's just it's disgusting. It makes you want to fucking puke when you smell it. Basically, what it is is my memory. <laughs> yes, Waffle videos. House. <laughs> my memories are filled of just Narayan at Eli's house throwing up from drinking one of those vodka. Oh Okay, so let me explain what it is. Basically, oh, wait, no. Danny created this tradition where he makes something for someone's birthday called the concoction, and that was pretty much where they would, um, you he would go into my fridge and just like just grab random ingredients, fucking yogurt, olive oil, goat <laughs> cheese, fucking Mustard. milk. Uh, raw eggs, mayonnaise, just like literally just random stuff, and just mix them together. Syrup. Into, into a literal concoction, and then we would have and to like, drink it. And, like, it didn't even have to be, like, liquids. Like, didn't he put solids in it one time? 
Like, well, I'm there pretty were sure some solids remember. floating in it. I don't remember. It was like relish floating or something. pieces. Oh yeah, big relish. <laughs> yeah, it's literally just a bunch of random ingredients that don't go together, and you turn it into a smoothie, and then you have to take <laughs> a sip of it. Meal. I could barely even like put it. I could barely even put it up to my mouth without gag reflexing. I think. Like, I Danny was like, "Come on, dude, just take one sip. Just swallow one. You have to swallow once. Come on." And I could barely even get it into my mouth without like my gag reflex being so bad that I just immediately spit it out. I think I was able to down me. like one or two gulps, and then I like immediately puked into the sink. I still was, have a video. I still have a recording fun. of me at Danny's house, and we were like doing some dare something, some dare shit or something like that. But I was, I dared him to like, he he made me some, he made me do something ridiculous, right? And I was like, all right, eat a spoonful of ginger paste. He had like this ginger paste in his fridge, and for some reason he hates ginger. He literally couldn't oh, yeah, eat the, one spoonful the ginger of ginger paste. He That's spit it bad. out. He spit Dad. it out. It was just ginger paste. Oh my god. No, dude, if you put a bunch of ginger in your mouth, I'm pretty sure it doesn't it, like, burn your mouth? It wasn't even, like, it wasn't even, like, fresh, like, actual ginger. It was paste. Concentrated, like, sauce type thing. Do you think the powder is worse or the paste? Powder, probably powder. But no, like, I just remember it was funny, because he, like, couldn't even take, like, a spoonful. I remember I tried a spoonful of it, and I offered it. He just doesn't like ginger. Mm. But yeah, no, dude, concoctions are where it's at. For sure, for sure. I remember screen recording like this. My torture choice. Recording live streaming because like you were like we had, we had to lock you in your room while we made it because you couldn't see what was in it. And I remember nice. live streaming the process of like putting all the ridiculous ingredients in it. Did you save that video? Fortunately, I didn't. I did not save the live. I want to see have. it, man. Yeah. Oh my god. Because think... if you think about it, you don't. You, not even to this day, you still don't all, know all the ingredients. <laughs> Logan, do you think you could like? to keep the grinding noises to a minimum. There's been no grinding dude, noises. That's like, dude, that's like what the teachers say at prom. <laughs> 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 My god. That's the, 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 I, why are you harassing me right now about grinding noises? I haven't made a single grinding noise. There's only birds chirping outside. Let's right talk about the Oscar yeah. winning movie fucking Daddy Daycare starring I can start Eddie grinding Murphy. if you want me to start Logan. grinding. Daddy Stab Daycare. The birds I have not seen that film. Annoying. Probably for the best. No. <laughs> By the cover, I can guess. I can figure it's the same thing. Yeah, I'd, I'd also agree. Yo, it's, is it like Daddy's Home, but even worse? Yeah. Wait. Oh, Daddy's Home. I remember that. Yeah. I've never seen that movie either. <laughs> so you're just referencing something you barely know of. Yeah. Well, I I know of it. Like I know the like basic plot. The Charlotte's ads and thing shit. to do. Yeah, you've seen the trailers that were all over you. Yeah, I remember there was a period of time where they were just spamming out those trailers. Okay, what are the ads you guys get the most on YouTube now? Nowadays? Um, yeah. What do you mean, like YouTube ads? Yeah, I don't know. Ads. Ads. I wouldn't remember. Just ads TikTok! Those just ads like, are like, they've yeah. been persistent, but I feel like they've started to die out TikTok ads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I oh used to get God. a lot of TikTok ads, it's true. Oh my God, I hate those. There's like that one... Uh, I don't even know if I want to reference. Not that much one. anymore, though. But I, we used to, and it's like really annoying because like we're the generation that's like we're we're a little bit older than like the TikTok, like the TikTok age of kids, like the TikTok Fortnite Jake Paul kids. We're a little bit older than that, so yeah. we just like it's just fucking annoying. <laughs> like I don't know yeah, how else to sure. put it. <laughs> Honestly. TikTok just, it doesn't really interest me. I mean, like, there's, like, funny stuff on TikTok, but it's, like, yeah. I wouldn't download the app and, like, suffer all of the insufferable things about it just for, like, the rare thing on it that's, like, actually good. Yeah. yeah that's true. I definitely agree with that. Like, a lot every, of the stuff everything is that's chain. funny, everything that's funny on TikTok could easily be created on any other website. On, you could literally just, like, make a video and then, like, post it on YouTube, and, like, you wouldn't really need the presence of TikTok in order to do it. Yeah, plus the yeah, fan base in general. Okay, the ad really on good. YouTube that I always get is this fucking ad. I always get this one Squarespace ad, and it's, like, this black guy jumping onto a box. Do you guys ever get it? No. No, it's I've a, never seen that. A profile <laughs> view. It's a side view of this this um like African American guy and he just is like in a workout uniform or workout clothes and he's just like jumping onto a box and it's like boom this fucking it sounds like the Pornhub Lauren it sounds, it sounds like retarded. the Pornhub uh ex, or not exclusive, the Pornhub community song, but like even more cancer. 
Lauren, you've exposed yourself. Now your entire audience knows that. Uh, oh, that dude, you... that porno community song's a fucking <laughs> Tuffy. Movie. Everyone knows it. <laughs> uh, Can you just get app in the chat for Tough Puppy? Yeah, yeah. I remember that Love show. Tough. I remember Tough. Puppy. Tough Puppy, Tough Puppy, he's a tough puppy. Wow. Didn't he have some like cool voice? Wasn't it Butch Hartman that voiced him or something? No, it was Spencer from iCarly. <gasps> That's amazing, Spencer. I, you know what I always get? I, di I didn't use. To, well, okay, this is like more of a past thing. I feel like these ads kind of started to die out. But you guys, do you guys remember the nationwide commercials where it's like this, this chick like playing the guitar except it's to the nationwide theme and it's the most annoying thing ever? Dude, yes, no, but I'm glad I, I don't. remember that. It's like some country singer or something. See, Lauren remembers. It's like she's like she's like singing like the nationwide theme, but like she's got a freaking guitar. It's like. Damn. Nationwide is on I mean, your still, side. I'll never forget my Chevrolet. My Chevrolet. If you need a my car, Chevrolet. Say, my car Chevrolet. Say my Chevrolet. My Chevrolet. Yeah, everyone remembers that. <laughs> what about the GFC ads? Of course. Like, of course. <coughs> Switch to the solar company, like I did. Not just any solar company. The solar the company. company. Yeah. <laughs> you know it. That's a, that's a classic. Whose little brother is that in the background? Oh, somebody's watching a, a movie or TV show. Never mind. It's we need to have a talk with you. But it just, just stopped. Yeah. Okay. Great. 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 So what is what this? Is Cobra Kai. Oh. Kate always wants to talk about Cobra Kai, but like I've never seen it before. I, I yeah. Nope. I, I, I know nothing. I don't want to. Before. I don't think any of the YouTube shows are any good. Uh, that's a little. I'm just hundred percent not good. Okay. Dude, what are, you, are, you, are you telling me that Scare PewDiePie isn't good? Are you <laughs> scare oh god, Scare PewDiePie, good dude. YouTube original, and they took it down. They freaking can't. Oh, James it. Charles. <laughs> oh, sup, sisters. Ew. Hi, I sisters. Like, I don't even know Worse. about James Charles. I've like seen like his Snapchat. Where, like, don't you have to have He's YouTube this total right? snake of a freaking YouTuber. James Charles right is just... Why do people people talk, always talk shit about James Charles? What has he actually done that's bad? Because I don't get it. Most of what he does is not very cool. Like what? Remember that kid uh, on fucking uh, React? What about React? The kids React? B E. The kids React kid, the meme. Have you not seen that? What? So there was this kid, right? And they were talking about like homosexuality. And oh yeah. The kid's like, hey, would you be friends with a fucking uh, gay guy? Like, if your friend was gay, would you hang out with him? He's like, Kade, no. Kid, 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 can you just step away from the mic a little bit? It's a little loud, yeah. That's it's all. like a little. I am over. explaining something. Oh, it's really loud. Oh, God. Uh, this is like worse than Logan's vacuum. Oh my God. <laughs> my Gen Z audience. Vacuum is not be there with the podcast. Right? Yeah, let's do a fresh restart. Is that better? No. Yeah, just, just kind of tone it down. Okay. It's gonna be okay. Okay, so I don't know how far I can put my mic in. Oh my God. Dude, you're okay, like, you're maybe you should just go to the opposite side of your okay. room. Okay, that. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> he needs to, he needs to put his mic at like Safeway, and then he needs to run Mac. back to his house yeah. and then start yes, talking. Please, I please agree. Take your mic okay. to Safeway, kid. I'll be right back. Go back to your house talking. Then maybe it would be on normal volume. I'd have to. Dude, agree. Just, just, just bring your, I just bring your mic over here, and like at my house, three thousand miles away. Then go back to your house and talk. Hi. Maybe that'll be a normal volume. There you go. It's better. Bye. I, I just took my mic out. Yeah, okay. That, uh, Sorry, I think that works. Mic okay, not settle. Yeah, yeah, I think you need a foamy thing on your mic. Oh, like dude. I do. Yeah, Adrian put a okay. foamy thing on his and it sounded better. Does it? <laughs> I can't hear Cade anymore. Can you guys hear That's me? what I figured. Okay, Cade. Cade. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting glitched again. I'm gonna leave and join back real quick. No, <laughs> dude, you're- I'm done. No, don't do it. Why are okay. we? I'm done. I don't okay. even understand. I don't know. It's what are we, what were we talking about, guys? What were we talking about? Okay, Kate's story. Boom. Um, I forget. I forgot what you was even saying. Really? I'm done. We were talking oh, no. about. Okay, come on, yeah, you could talk about. You could talk about James I was gonna Charles ask. Don't. Oh yeah. What? What did James Charles do that's so bad? That's what I was gonna ask. Oh. What did James Charles do. I don't know. In general, I've just heard stuff of him like doing snake stuff to people and being like very fake. Just like in a general sense, and uh, also he's done like most of the stuff that he that he like features in is kind of uh, he also does really bad covers. Covers, really sorry, like, like voice crack. Really he sounds like what? a Jeffrey Star knockoff, dude. Yeah, 
That too. Um, like Jeffrey Star is like your queen. James Charles well, is just trying to be like him. Well, if you can tell me like in a specific instance, like he just yeah, to me it just I, seems like your average kind of like, you know, just kind of showboating. I don't know. I, I'm sorry that I can't bring up an example. Bad, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I do remember. Uh. I don't know, something. I don't he know. He just kind of seems know, like he, he just has a classic kind of like fake YouTuber internet personality. I mean, it's at this point. I know he's done some like fraud kinda stuff or something. Like, kind of used to it, but. Yeah. You know, he's he's only like, isn't he super young? He's like only 19 or something. It's crazy. Something like that, yeah. Oh, what is this? Oh, Untold Truth of James Charles. Thank you, Kate. I think this what is the is stuff this? that I was talking about or whatever. Kate, do you care to explain the story or whatever it was? I'll screenshot. Sure. here. I feel like what? people are hey, just looking for on, like man. reasons to hate James Charles. Like, what is no, that's not about? why. I don't. I don't think you're. <laughs> There's definitely stuff I've. Uh, you do my is. my skills. The only shit I've seen of James Charles is this video where he fucking does face banks. Is it does makeup for face banks and it's like, really it's pretty funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Face banks. Uh, he posts this video where he goes over. To, <laughs> he meets with James Charles and he does makeup for him. It's actually there you go. He looks pretty uh, goofy afterwards. Joe, what do you? So, I haven't really asked you. Yet, how's a How's um Virginia life treating you? I, I kind of I I've gotten gone kind. Ugh, I can't fucking talk. I'm having the aneurysm. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh. <laughs> I've, I've kind of gotten the vibe that it seems like you're missing California. Uh, probably not that much. California, here we come. At least from some of the stuff you've said. He said that you have a vibe of missing. Uh, like, apparently, you miss California. California, but his parents Absolutely. aren't because they don't pay a lot. Yeah. See, I feel like you don't. You're not like completely regretting or being like, dude. Like, not every day you're thinking. Back. I'm not, I'm not uh, like. I'm not like out here being like, wow, I hate my life. I yeah. wish I was in California, but like, I definitely miss California a lot. Like, I'm really excited mm. to come back in the summer. Oh wait, when? Oh, okay. This, yeah, okay. That's it seems great. like you've picked up a pretty good social life. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. But I mean, like, stuff. you guys are like my main, my main group. You know, like, so yeah. Like, of course, I gotta. Gotta stick with the with the, main, with the main homies. With the squad. I, I'm glad you haven't forgotten your squad. roots. That's nice. <laughs> of course not, dude. Like I got friends here. I'm excited to go back to California. Yeah. When you are know you it. coming to California? June 9th, as of now. June 9th. I'll be heading over. Uh, I gotta double check when I'm going to uh, UCLA. Oh, Lauren's uh, busy. I might yeah. be gone. It's I'm not sure. Either I'm be I'll be there for like. Probably a month and a half about. Said June or ninth or July 9th? June 9th. I think June you guys 9th. will still be in school, okay. right? I also get yeah, to we will. June twelfth. No, we, we, no, we get out. Or, no, no, we get out early. School Wait, school. what? We got on the, the sixth or seventh. Oh, seriously? Really? Oh, you, you know for a fact? Yeah, that's that's for a fact. Me and Alex did a ton of research when we were gonna go work with you know, somebody. That's great. That's even better. Yeah, there's uh, some in Canada. 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 I can't remember the exact date, but I'm. I think late June. I'm going to uh, the summer film, the summer film institute at UCLA. That I'm very oh, happy shit. I got accepted to. I guess like, everyone else knows about it except for you, Kate. I guess. Okay. Heard about it a while ago. <laughs> yeah. About that. You should just sell Montana to Canada for one <laughs> trillion. <laughs> I said that earlier. I was like, I'd be down to sell Montana. Think about Dude. it. Puerto Rico becomes a state. We sell yeah. Montana. You don't have to change the flag, all right? Minus one, plus one, still 50 states. Dude, that's a great <laughs> idea. Why? What's even the point? <laughs> what, what are we accomplishing? <laughs> we'll I don't get in contact to with the U.S. No, territory. Puerto Rico. Rico. Montana, isn't that where, like, all of our, like, military bunkers Yellowstone, and stuff are? Yellowstone, dude. No, and, like, dude, we'll be losing Yellowstone. We'll be fucking losing Mount Rushmore. Exactly, like, Lauren. We'll be losing so much shit. Why are we gonna give you know, Mount Rushmore? Mount Rushmore. Losing Mount Rushmore. Why are we giving yeah. it a rule? No, can we there? give away Wyoming? We can't yeah, can we give American oh, staples to go over? Please just nuke Wyoming. Oh, we could give use Wyoming as like a nuclear testing ground. Like, oh my gosh, Lord. Let's make the 13 colonies again. <laughs> Imagine how long we live there. Dude, Let's I, make the. Okay, think... guys, hear me out. Hear me out on this idea. They can move. Wait, everyone, hear me this. out on this idea, guys. Let's. How do you think redo... our Wyoming viewers feel? Right now? Let's redo no, the three fifths compromise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, that's a joke. Are you saying, that are, a joke, are you saying that people in Wyoming should count as three fifths? Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't want anyone listening to think that wasn't a joke because Jesus Christ, for the, that was basically saying that uh, a black man was like. 
three fifths like an actual. Like, I thought you were saying we should do the same thing for Wyomians, dude. I mean, if you're from Wyoming, your yeah. <laughs> your vote is three fifths. <laughs> the three fifths compromise, but uh, yeah, um, only for Wy Wyomians. <laughs> yeah, I have I have to Wyomians. for sure that. Dude, I, I I gotta empathize with our Wyoming views right now, dude. <laughs> Do you think each each one of their views on this video only counts three fifths of you? <laughs> <laughs> dude, we literally have been in. We've like this will be our second time like insulting a uh, just a state in an episode. Like uh, yeah, this first is probably the last thing now. Yeah, first we're, we're gonna hunt everyone until we get down, get down to our. We'll go through all the states until we get down to California, and then we can yeah. get mad at California. Don't, don't come at Virginia, bro. Ourselves. Yeah, we'll get mad at California. Hey, you know, we'll we'll fly to do... Virginia. We'll do a podcast with Joe at his place. At, at the crib. <laughs> medical no. cocaine. Like, no medical cocaine, though, yeah. Dude, I really, it, it does really have some medical effects, dude. It, it, it just, like, you know, <laughs> it heals all wounds instantly. You ever hear that? Yeah, it definitely like, heals you of your good judgment and uh, I didn't even know medical cocaine everything. was a thing that existed. I, 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 I don't think it I is. I thought cocaine was, like, think recreational. <laughs> I think it's a joke. Q, uh, Parm, Parm misses you. It has 19 wrong. supporters. Hey. What misses you? What did you say? Parm. Parm Team Parm. crackheads. Parmenter misses... Oh, Joe. Oh, you guys, the caption for it says cocaine can cure any diseases. It will stop half of the wars and the cocaine industry in Mexico will grow. Wow. What a, how amazing, guys. Just legalize cocaine oh, and, uh, the end, and like half the wars will just cease to exist. And... Yeah, we will all just have the, a booming cocaine industry. It'll be yeah, beautiful. and maybe how can I confirm too? this is a correct statement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, Logan, Logan's a true economist. He knows. He knows. I, I'm taking an economics class over here. It's pretty lit. So you could. Dude, you're not taking an economics class unless you sell knives. I'm sorry. I know Truth. all about your knife business. I'm an expert in economics. Wow. Okay, you might come here. Stop yourself. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I'm an absolute expert. Then, then tell me exactly how many followers I gained through my giveaway. Oh! How many followers? Well, it's obviously a, a liquid thing. It can't really be, you know, Measured, yeah. it can't really be predicted. Oh, no, but that, that's the whole point. You have to predict it. Are you calling his followers liquids? Yes. Ooh, Dude, why else did they, why else did they, get if they were made of liquid? Ooh, typical economist. Jargon. I'm gonna be an, econ an, an economist, but on the real though, this class is actually pretty cool. Right now we're on the personal finance unit. We're learning about credit. Dude, my credit score is gonna be an 850 right out of high school. No! Kate! <gasps> Kate is left hard Kate Spittler. I'm back Don Cheadle. Joe, have you learned about how you should start in, like, uh, putting money into your 401k, like, while you're young? Because you'll have, like... Uh, most people don't start until it's like really late and then they have barely any money in their 401k. But if you start, like, I think it was if you start putting money into your 401k at the age of like 19 or something, you'll have like, if you only even put like, I think it was like $10 or something, like just barely any money from each like paycheck, you'll, um, have, you'll literally have like a million dollars in your 401k by the time you retire. But there's most most people that are you know most minors and youngsters they don't really care about thinking super far into the future to when they're like you know 70 years old is the thing but i mean i'm probably now gonna we, start putting right now we're learning about credit score age. it's pretty is, epic oh so like how to not go into debt and fucking get all your shit taken oh it's how to, a credit score is just whatever your score is. It's just how you can get better loans on like houses and cars and stuff because it's basically just your trustworthiness. Because the higher yeah. it is, the more like the more like uh, car dealers and stuff are gonna oh, trust true, you that you're true. gonna pay your loan back. I always hear that like ads, like real estate ads and stuff. Okay. About so it's like the idea is to get a higher credit score, so then people will trust you more and they'll give you lower interest rates, so you don't have to pay as much for stuff. Well then, Joe, the economist, how do we achieve a uh, higher credit score? I, I could tell you, even though this is an extremely boring topic, but one thing I'll, just I'll give say you one reason. The chat is more than you're speaking. Give you one reason, dude. Mm -hmm. I mean, not one reason. One... Oh my you God. just gotta. You just gotta yeah, we've, we've been chatting. We've been plotting to say. For I've been while. reading the chat, guys. Don't think I haven't been yeah. reading the chat. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised. They've been plotting to, like, say, you know, extreme profanities. 
to force me to have to find them and get them out. Who changed their name to Don Cheeto? <laughs> that is good. <laughs> Not Kate Spittler. Kate That's just Don Cheeto himself. Mm -hmm. Gosh. He's came back. Lauren, you have okay, Kate, steak. I'm never making you anything again. Good for you. <laughs> Gonna insult my steaks. He Damn. Oh my god, dude. He insulted it. No, I'm serious, it's like it's it's <laughs> like I'm mildly mad because like he's never really said anything nice to me. When I, the first thing he said when I made a mistake, he's like, Is it still alive? Because he said he wanted a fucking medium rare, so I literally made it medium rare for him, and then he says it's too bloody. I'm like, bro. Should have uh, you should have predicted no. that he was going to be a pansy about it, and you should have cooked it well done for him. No, next time I'm just gonna just gonna lie and just blacken the the outside of it to make it seem like it's been cooked, and then I'm just gonna give you fucking salmonella <laughs> or like some sort of bacterial infection. That's like, amazing, dude. That. Dude, I'm literally gonna kill just you. Just deep fry it for a single have fun with the dysentery, Cade Spittler. Yeah, Never criticize a thing again. The next case yes. of Lauren, the steak assassin. <laughs> yeah. He poisons his victim with deceiving steaks. Hey Joe, they take when... one bite and they're on the floor. Hey Joe, when you're in California, you wanna come over and let me cook you a steak? I'd love a steak, man. Mm. This is like a I'm new fixing for a steak right just, about just now. Hits the just spot. People. The consumer reports. Consumer reports. <laughs> <laughs> Young Joe consumer <laughs> steak. You know it. At least he tried. It was the last steak he'd ever consumed. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. little hey, does Lauren. Caden know. Next time he tries, he's like, "Hey, Lauren, can you make me some sushi? Or I'm gonna just, just give him some raw steak." Or maybe give him too much, make him choke on the sushi. He's gonna be like, hmm, what is this, sashimi? You're like, it sure is. It's actually raw cow, but yeah, sashimi it is. <laughs> it's just raw steak and rice. Hey, Lauren. Okay, just talk like how John John Cheadle. Don Cheadle would talk. Lauren. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Hey. Speaking of uh, cooking, when are we going to make Morris' his toffee? Before, hey, like, everybody. Uh, before, Don like, Don wait, 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 was saying something, Donnie. Hey, Shut everybody. Up. Don Cheadle here. <laughs> you cartoon Logan, king. What were you saying? Morris needs to make toffee. We need to make Morris toffee. Don That's Don the thing we are going to make toffee. Yeah. Also, can I point out that uh, Logan's profile picture is him staring into a bucket of popcorn? Yes. Actually, I have some. Or is that a it's star? not. Oh. Let me, let me, let me pull up the, a better picture for you. Let's see. It. Just so you can uh, just see that. Oh. Here's the, here's the full picture right there. I always Drink thought it was like from the popcorn. Okay, it's a straw. I was confused because I always saw that profile picture and I was like, "Wait, but he's not drinking the popcorn, even though you said it before." And I was like, "That's kind of dumb." But he's he's drinking drinking the popcorn. no, he literally is, is drinking fault. the popcorn. Yeah, <laughs> I think it really exemplifies how much of a fat ass Logan is. Jesus. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> you're gonna get beat up as soon as you yeah, come yeah. Here. We'll see how much of a fat ass he is when you square up with him. <laughs> you don't know. loom over you. You don't understand the loom. You haven't yeah. been here for. It's okay, Logan. We love you. I would never mess with you because you, you'll just whip out like fifty-five knives. And yeah. Stab me. He'll literally dude, stab like, you with a tungsten dude, spear. Dude, I, I square up. I square up against Logan. He'll become general of the tongue for arms. Have a knife in each hand. <laughs> dude, he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, you fool. He takes off the cape, forearms out, a, a different type of knife in each hand. <laughs> Yeah, General Kenobi. No, Logan oh, look is at gonna, gonna make be like, this knife. Your pocket knife will make a fine addition to my collection. Joe, Ooh, are you, the, the, you know what the next addition to his collection is going to be? Kid. It's going to be this sphere that is, it looks like just a smooth ball, except it, it's just made out of m like millions and millions of extremely sharp needles that, you know, they're so sharp and small that when they're all put together in such close proximity, it just appears to be a smooth ball. Um, and basically, at that, at that point, the needles wouldn't be harmful because they're so close together. It's just gonna feel like a flat surface. No, but I proved that it actually would work because Logan's dad didn't do me, and I proved it to him with the tungsten needles. Remember, Logan? Oh, speaking of which, I think I think I have a picture of that. My dad said oh, he you could find it. Well, like, hey, the same concept with like the bed of nails. Like hey, you, can lay, you can lay on a bed of nails, and it won't hurt you because they're so close together ah! that they can't really like actually penetrate your skin. Oh, you're talking. So you're talking about like the surface tension or whatever. Like they're so close together that like they're all. It's like it's like you're laying on a flat surface. Like okay, it's enough nail. It's enough nails shot. to create a simulation of a flat surface. Oh, so like the, shit. a single nail can't penetrate. I have Wonder Woman. 
You know, okay. you, you might be right about that. If each, because a tungsten needle yeah. is basically this needle that's so sharp that the edge is literally like one atom. Like that's how sharp it is. And so, so if they're all more. put in close enough proximity, it would literally just be a smooth surface. Fuck, I don't think it would work. Unfortunately, so. Are watching this? All the viewers are watching this. You guys are probably like a smooth, a smooth surface. Well, but Damn. the thing is, is that it would have to have like a tensile strip that was like, I don't know, it's, it's fucking confusing. So this Some is this, this may be the most out. interesting topic that we've that we've brought up. I think we've hit a gold mine here. I don't think we're ever gonna get this this hot. You're never gonna get such profound, uh, such I didn't a profound think... conversation. Y'all look at the chat. Ever. I didn't think Don Cheadle was so mean, dude. Look at him. Yeah. He's roasting. Hey us, Don, dude. how about you don't be a little pussy boy and uh, talk to us like a man, war huh? machine? I thought you were. Hey cool. Don Cheadle here. Don Cheadle's coming. Are you trying to start a podcast, Don? Don? Yeah. You're not gonna be a guest on here. We didn't even invite you. I used to like Don better than better than uh, Robert Downey Jr. But I'm starting to change my mind. I'm gonna be honest. I like him more than freaking Falcon. But now, we're up <laughs> higher up now. Yeah, His name's not Falcon. Falcon you want to play Endgame? It's not Captain America. Yeah, I remember that. Hey, okay. don't spoil Captain. Wait, we talked about Endgame. It's already okay. kind of late. Nice spoiler. I'll, I'll probably have to log off pretty soon. Actually, I don't okay. know. I mean, we're gonna have to talk spoilers. Before though. we, yeah, we just passed like the one hour mark a few minutes ago. But before Iron we log man, off. Can I just Wait, talk should we about, even stop? I, I don't want to can I just talk about the fact that, like, I actually kind of dislike Robert Downey Jr. I feel like he, he's just super cocky oh. in real life. Have you actually, like, seen him in Yeah, he years? is like Iron Man is, but I don't know. He's, I like yeah, that about Yeah, he thinks him. he's like a fucking movie character. No, it's kind of annoying. Like, he he just ha it seems like he has a really inflated ego. He thinks he's like an yeah, actual, um, like, zany, interesting, like, movie character is like, in real life. Is the character of Iron Man, like, his actual personality? But no, yeah, well, I, that's I why. Well, I mean, no, it I literally... he's just doing cause... that because... He that's no, because that's what it is. Playing that up. Let me let me let you in on a little secret. Iron Man. I, I don't know how interesting he really is in the comics, because like, I Robert Downey Jr. kind of plays himself basically, from what yeah. I know. Yeah. So. I don't know. I just I don't really like him in real life. Like it's funny in, in um the mo movies, but when you see him in interviews and stuff, it just it just seems like he's trying to um, I don't know. He's just he's trying to be like super Co like, yeah cocky and like. Yeah, I don't know. I could see why you'd call him like cocksure and kind of unlikable, but I kind of like that of him. Even though that I don't like it much on others, but I guess because Iron Man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what he, the fuck? He used to have a drug problem. You guys didn't know that? Yeah, yeah. I remember that. No, I did not. What the fuck? He used to have like a major drug problem like before he was like famous. And like basically uh -huh. the movie Iron Man is basically what like saved his life. Because you know he what? Was, like, I actually heard that. Cool. about that. Yeah. No. No. And, like, now that you he, say it, I remember hearing that. Yeah. It's. It is. It's like what helped him. Like basically, it was his rehab that being in that movie. It was the movie Iron Man, and like that's what made him famous too. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing, man. Comeback, Robert Downey Jr. Boy, he man. made a comeback. Well, can we can we get a thank Thanks. you to Robert Downey Jr. for yeah. recovering from drugs and for all you've the, done. The coolest, <laughs> zaniest guy on earth. Hey guys, Don Chill here. Hey man, freak out of here. I want to hear Robert Downey Jr. Okay, Lauren, I'm sorry. I can't find any picture of him here. Yeah, in order to dance the bomb. Oh, you've been searching this whole time, Logan. Yeah, no, I knew I had one somewhere, but I guess it's just gone. Had one what? Oh well, don't sweat it. I'm sweating. Wait, what? Still sweat it. Stop perspiring, Logan. It's okay. Guys, what? Here, the profile picture. Perspiration is enough. What did you say about the profile picture? Perspiration Justin. is enough, dude. I think his persistence in perspiration. Justin's, uh, it's a coach, is, uh, probably. Let me check. Are you are you spitting a little Robin? rhyme right now? Dude? Oh, that's Justin Botker. Oh my, wait, my, my lyrical prowess is coming out, dude. He's persisting wait, his perspiration. Can we hear a rhyme from Joe, please? Can we hear a little, a nice limerick? Oh, I remember his rhymes. Why you gotta put? Why you gotta put me on the spot? Man? It's okay. I got you, Joe. Joe, I'll I do know, it for I you. I know rapper. I know rapper. I'll, I'll say one of my favorite raps from you. I'll shove That's you in good. a crate and you put you in a different state, me? mate, or whatever <laughs> it was in the freaking middle school or oh, whatever dude, grade. That's pretty epic. Did I invent that? Yeah. You be like, oh, it, was that? That was when we were trying to make things that rhymed with mate. I think maybe yeah 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 no it literally was because we were trying to remember looks like a butter knife like the meme where it was like the M8 like mate 
That's the yeah, giveaway I mean, knife. Or, we were trying to we were trying to rhyme stuff with mate, and so it was like, yo, I'll I'll, I'll lock the gate and send you to a different state, mate. You know. Yeah, <laughs> it was like so bad too, because it sounds like you're talking, but you just so happen to be. <laughs> and you so happen to be rhyming, so it's even worse. I'm sharp that? like a knife. You just posted this. I'm sharp this like knife. a needle. Okay, if I can't, can you do anything? Sharp yes, like a I needle. I just posted this I knife. Oh, you can go ahead I know what you're about to say, Kate. No, okay, I, was I to couldn't hear you, Lauren. No, go kids hard, go about hard. To kids about to I'm freestyle. gonna go hard. Nope, sorry. Do it. You talk about knife. Okay. About knife. No, no, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll finish the rap for you because you're gonna say. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, you want me to do it? Yeah. I'm sharp like a knife. I'm sharp like a needle. Kate was about to say something that rhymed with Cheetle. There you go. Cheetle. Don Cheetle. Yeah, I'm never gonna yeah. Let I did it, yeah, because I was doing it for you. Yo, I'm sharp like a knife. I'm sharp like a needle. Fall and get paralyzed from the waist down like I'm Don Cheetle. I like yeah. that. See, that's Dude, good. Dude, more like because yeah, like that one, there that one you needle go. you were talking about, remember? Like, one needle, like, you could have said, uh, you could have mentioned, but you could have given a nod to that, you know? Work at Best Buy. My money's green like Kush. I'm Ooh. going to kill Brody and put his body in the bush. Damn. <laughs> That's Brody where it belongs. Poor Brody. That sounds like a little Riddler, man. You know, I, I say I had, poor I had, Brody, I had, but he I just calls everyone gay every day and then cusses them out. It's kind of annoying. Let's get Brody on the podcast. Jay, wait, come on. Wait, Logan, I, you posted this. Can I? Can we talk about this knife now? Is You posted this knife in the chat. Is this what you're doing the giveaway about? Yeah, that's what? a giveaway. Yes, that's the giveaway knife. That's a giveaway yeah. knife? Hmm, how, when did you make it? Like, just recently? Uh, yeah, really recently. I don't know, on Sunday or something like the that. The handle is interesting. It's like, you, is it finished, or are you going to put, like, a handle? It is it? finished. It's called a skeleton really? knife. It, yeah. I thought you were going to put, like, a, an actual handle, like a handle covering, you know? It's Well, I'm no, not, I've seen the, knives like that. They're very, like, industrial, kind of. I don't know how to describe it. The, the, there's actually yeah. a traditional term for this knife. It's called a blacksmith or woman's knife, is and it? I don't know. I don't know why. It's just it just is. A woman's but smith isn't a female blacksmith just like a woman smith? No, just a, a woman's knife. That's all it's called. Why is it a woman's knife? I don't know why it's called a woman's knife. <laughs> Maybe it's because it it really Where did you post it, dude? I want to be like Logan the first confirmed one sexist. Logan confirmed sexist. He posted the picture of the knife in the chat. Of that's Don Cheadle. No, I thought you said he posted it on Instagram. Don Cheadle. Gay. Whoever wins it's going to be a happy person. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Before we end this podcast, Logan's doing a uh, giveaway Sorry, wait, right what? now oh. on his Instagram, um, at Smith's underscore workshop. Is that, is that your Instagram? Or is it? it no, I think it's just, just Smith's workshop yeah, now. it's all oh one God. word. All one word, Smith's workshop. He's doing a giveaway right now. Uh... I don't, I'm not exactly sure which you have to do to enter, but you can win this really yeah, nice... I don't think I'll, I'll figure it out craft. tomorrow when I actually post the thing, but we'll see. Alright, well, on that note, Beautiful. guys, it's, we've it's been going It's not going to be complicated. We've been going for over an hour now, so I think it's uh, time to uh, say goodnight uh, to the listeners at home. Uh, or on the road. Oh yeah, that's that reminds me, if you're on the road driving and listen to this right now... Ah! Look out! Okay. And, uh, Jesus. I think you fell asleep on the wheel. Okay, oh, yeah, if you're if you're drifting to if Very you're good, drifting Don to sleep, <laughs> yeah, you probably you, died. I know some of you <laughs> listen to this while you're in bed. If you're listening to this, drifting off to sleep, wow! Ah, ah! Okay, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> our, 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 our go crazy. Ah, uh, the rule is Justin, if you're listening, <laughs> fuck you. You're, you're yeah, Justin, Justin, if you're listening, listening, stop listening. Go back to serving people at Cinelux, you wage slave. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, John. Oh, everyone! Everyone, be quiet, please. Everyone, <laughs> shush. Yo, this is a shout out. My friend told me to do a shout out. A shout out to Josh Flores if you made it this far. Hey, uh, gang, gang. Josh, Josh, Josh Tyler better the creator, watch this far. Tyler the Creator's biggest fan. No, he probably fall asleep if, on the if, wheel. If Weird. Josh doesn't get to start crying, I want Josh to watch this entire podcast. He's he's my most he's like Josh, my most favorite. It would be Josh's entire podcast. Comment down below. Yeah, hey Josh, if you're listening to this right now, just know that you saved Joe from me. guys. Are you ready for editing? Yeah, are you ready? Yeah. No, I mean, well, we are editing this, guys. I don't think it's gonna be boring. Like you just cut yeah, I think we need our outro music. I can just do you know do a couple snip snips here and there. If, yeah. if you guys made it this if you guys made it this far, drop a dislike and flag the video for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, people are gonna. Let's get Chancey out of here as soon as possible. Joe, you say that as a joke, but I, I guarantee you, like 
some fucking people are gonna do that. So, so this is just born, the channel, these are magical right? editing skills, and edit it to sit to edit my not say thing that. Say oh, yeah. funny, <laughs> funny story about Josh before we get off. Speaking of him, I remember when he went to Camp Flogna earlier this year to see like Tyler the Creator and like. Wait, yo, he went to Camp Flogna? Yeah, he did. He went Flogna. To, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. dope. Oh, man. Thanks for giving us coffee. And the good paid. I yeah, I give Josh <laughs> a good talk about Tyler the Creator. I know everything of him. I don't think I don't really care. Oh, yeah. Josh, Josh. 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 By, the, by the way of a friend, because uh, I mean I'm not obsessed with him, but you've, you've I, talked I'm a to Josh fan. Tyler the Creator. No, I said I'd like to though. Because I know oh, yeah. a good amount. I yeah, don't I know if I know more than him. could really but... hit it off, for sure. Yeah, we uh, could. Anyway, I, it was funny, because, like, he went... The day he came back, he was in math class, and, like, Mr. Siegel was like, Josh, where were you? And he was like, he was like, oh, he was like, oh you know, I was around. Like, just <laughs> fucking... Yeah. Just, like, being as vague as possible. Yeah, yeah like, the I was just at my place. Face. Yeah. He's like, yeah. oh, you know, I, I went on a trip. Ear to ear grin. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, um, it's been the Gen Z podcast. Um, I hope you guys enjoy. Do I actually? Sure, music. Oh. Yo, can we get a karaoke? I know I will. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. I'm gonna try to get this shit on Spotify as soon as I can. Uh, Bro, I think it'd would be really you? Cool to have it on like Apple and shit and Spotify. You think you could? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to figure it out pretty soon. Uh, That's my favorite part is, uh... Wait, 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 turn that off. We need to, we need to make it come full circle out here. I gotta get the outro music up in this bit, you feel me? I wanna get some outro music, dude. Okay, we'll do, we'll do a, yeah, we'll do some group outro music. I'm gonna start with (laughs) my... Yeah! (laughs) Hey, guys, I will be showing you how to install RAM. How to download RAM today. Get ready for this. System 32. Say goodbye to you. <laughs> Alright. On that note, guys. Thanks for listening. I guess not. <laughs> Kate's Every- playing stuff. Everybody say bye. Bye. Right. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. goodbye. Joe, and thanks, thanks for, for coming on the podcast, dude. It was really fun having you and getting to talk of to course. you. Of course. Fuck this play. Fuck this podcast. I'm out. <laughs> Damn. <Bye. laughs> That's one less person. So, uh, right. Joe, you want to join the Gen Z podcast? I think you'd be a great member. Perhaps. Well, I gotta go shower and get into bed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, it's yeah. nine where you're at.